Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games From Scratch and today we are looking at the top 10 programming languages of 2019. You won't believe number 7. Sorry, I'm not going to clickbait the hell out of this, but essentially that is what we are looking at today. But this isn't a controversial me picking my 10 favorite programming language BS thing like that. Now this one is all backed up straight up by data. This is actually coming from GitHub. Every year they release the state of the Octoverse. Um, report and there's a ton of great information in there. I will link it down below so if you want to jump in and learn more, do check that out. It is a great read. You can find out what repositories are the most popular, what what areas have grown the most, what geographical area, what languages are the most popular, which languages are rising the most, which languages are falling the most. There's a ton of information in this report every year. But what we're going to focus on today is the 10 most popular programming languages according to GitHub. So again, you're going to skew towards open source projects on this list. But without further ado, let us jump in with number 10. So we're going to go from 10 to 1. So the most 10th most popular programming language on GitHub is Ruby. And I think Ruby's actually fallen to a certain degree. A couple years ago, about seven or eight years ago, Ruby and Ruby on Rails were the new hotness. It was just freaking everywhere. And it kind of fallen off a bit. Now, Ruby, I think, started out of Japan. And it took a bit of time to grow out of that market and take off in the rest of the world. And where it really flew was the Rails framework for developing web applications. I don't know a ton of people using Ruby anymore. I think it's losing its... its um, it's momentum to a certain degree, but it's still popular enough to come in at number 10. Now, next up, we have at number nine, the iconic C programming language. And there is not a C homepage. There is the ANSI C homepage, and it is really, really crap. So that's why I'm linking to the Wikipedia entry. Now, we all know and love C at this point in time, and I think it's actually getting a bit of a resurgence. And C is popular for a reason. It's one of the most portable languages out there, one of the most performant languages out there. And there's a C runtime on every single platform you could ever think about. And it's simpler. It, it doesn't, like the standard for C could fit in a footnote for the standard for C++. So that's why C continues to be popular. Now next up, this one doesn't really count. I don't know how it got on this list and I, I really disagree with it being there. But it's not technically bash, but shell languages in general. So they categorized everything tagged as shell. So that could be um, bash, it could be... Um, PowerShell and so on. So all those scripting languages for localized, um, you know, OS management stuff, they've all been grouped together and they came into the number seven spot. I, th I think it's kind of doesn't fit the list, but that is the seventh most popular, so I am including it here. Now, next up, we have TypeScript. Now, TypeScript has really taken off. TypeScript is actually the most popular of the um, compiled to JavaScript languages out there. Uh, of course, you could ECMA script out from C++, whatever, but I mean, this is a superset of JavaScript, um, and it's really taking off. It, for being a Microsoft-backed language, it's amazing how popular TypeScript actually is. Now, um, Dart, spoiler, Dart didn't make this list, but thanks to Flutter, Dart really came close this year, but TypeScript is blowing it out of the park. And frankly, if I had to do a large JavaScript project, I would do it in TypeScript in a heartbeat because there's a lot of stupidity in JavaScript. This is a language that was literally designed and implemented in 13 days. So there's going to be some stupidity, like the assignment operators and um, the way they do polymorphism and so on. There's a lot of ick in JavaScript, and TypeScript does its best to fix a lot. And, and then again, JavaScript's doing it too with ECMA script 6 and beyond, but TypeScript really does making working with JavaScript a much nicer experience. So that's why it is here. Next up, we have C++. Now, C++ Love it or hate it, and people are definitely in both camps there. C++ is still an exceedingly important language. A lot of um, a lot of legacy software is written in C++. A lot of cross-platform uh, enterprise software is written in C++. And, of course, a lot of game engine and games are still written in C++. So even though you may use other languages, so you might have a mix and match, maybe you have C++ with a Lua runtime or something, still C++ being used. And C++ is still quite a bit of everywhere. Now you're seeing a bit of a backlash against C++ in recent years because every new release, it just gets more and more and more complicated. And I mentioned there was a bit of a resurgence towards C and a lot of that is just C++'s insane complexity. The spec is just, I think it's like up to 
I don't know, the last I checked, there was about 47,000 pages. I'm exaggerating a bit, but only just. The, the, the complexity of C++ is insane, but it is also one of the most important languages out there, and that's why it's coming in mid-pack of this top 10 list. Next up, we have C Sharp. Now, it's interesting to see C Sharp passing C++. C Sharp is definitely helps by being used in something like Unity. So all of those, and, and C Sharp's used in a lot of game engines, Unity, Godot, uh, Zenko, and so on. And they inherit people from it. But again, to be honest, C Sharp's just a great all-around programming language. I, I have... Um, I've long been a, a C sharp advocate when I when I need a general purpose programming language. If I don't have a framework pushing me in a certain direction, C sharp is probably where I would head towards. And there's a couple things that have happened with C sharp that make it much more appealing cross platform. Specifically, Microsoft bought up Xamarin and have made .NET Core. And those two moves have made cross platform um, real development using C sharp so much more appealing in recent years. And that's why it is number four in popularity. Now, number three, I gotta admit, kind of shocks me, is PHP. And if I get to pick a programming language that I strongly dislike, it's PHP. But at the same time, so much of the legacy of the web is written in PHP. Uh, WordPress gives you a huge base because of PHP. There's just so much PHP code out there, it continues to just chug along. And the next one, I also find a little shocking, and that's Java. And now Java it was huge, and I mean absolutely huge, in education and um, industry. In uh, you know, this was the language that was championed by IBM or like Oracle and so on. So these big enterprisey companies push a ton of Java code out there. But the kicker is, this is a survey of open source projects, not necessarily those kind of areas. And and Java is still popular. Java is more popular than C Sharp, which I do find. Very shocking, to be honest, but that's where it is. So we have one left, and I'm sure you can already guess what it is. Nope, we got two left. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yep, so we've got Python. Python, I'm actually shocked that it's come in at this point, because Python is... It's always been on the list, kind of seven-ish, eight-ish. Um, and Python had a huge, huge problem, in that Python had 2.7 and then 3. And then the community completely split between the two because of some of the design decisions that went into three did not sit well with the two community. And so they kind of forked and they stagnated for like eight or nine years. And then I think they've reconciled it. So the whole world has moved on. There's not a lot of 2.7 requirements out there. People are now in modern Python land, land and it, it's a wonderful thing. It's kind of like when Unity finally, you know, got access to or stopped being cheap or in this case it was open source, and got a modern version of C-sharp, and there was much rejoicing. Well, the same thing is happening in the Python community. And Python has had a huge resurgence because it is the lingua franca of machine learning. I don't know how that happened. It's, it's a very popular language among data scientists, um, so that seems to be driving the popularity of Python. But Python came up way up on this list this year. Um, and it's interesting. Python's always been one of those languages. It's it's probably the first scripting language with all of the capabilities of most traditional compiled languages. Plus, it was also very slow. So we've actually seen some improvement in all those regards, but where, again, it's really being used is that machine learning type logic. And it's just, it's huge there. And that's why you're seeing a huge number of repositories in Python. Now, Python has also had a, a huge foothold in some strange markets. It's the lingua franca of graphics. So if you want to become a technical, a TD or a technical director in a um, CG house, so if you want to do graphics programming and you're going to be supporting the artist by creating tools, there is a very very, very good chance it's going to be the Python programming language you are going to be working in. This is just the the language that is the go-to there. It's also the, the language of tooling a lot of times. You go to a lot of game development, like professional game development companies that have their own kind of workflow in-house, their own build systems and so on. A lot of times it's Python running all of that stuff. So even though Python may not be a primary language, it is used in a lot of places. And it's interesting to see they finally put their 2.7 legacy behind them and the community is mostly all on 3.x now on. And that's gonna really help the language going forward. Although hell, it's a number two place. It doesn't really need a lot of help does it okay so now we have number one for real number one this time no mistakes and it is yeah it's javascript 
Now you may notice I'm not actually on the JavaScript website. I'm on the plural site, training tutorial site, javascript.com. Uh, that's because the JavaScript website is fugly. Um, it, it doesn't make good presentation. So uh, this one works. Uh, or you go to like the Mozilla implementation or the various different other places that document it well. Uh, but their homepage or the ECMA script homepage, not that exciting. And here's one of those things that is a little misleading. JavaScript is ECMA script. Um, or yeah, yeah, I guess that's the way it goes. ECMA script is the official name. JavaScript is just what we colloquially call it these days. And it, yeah, when you're the language of the web, you, you're going to win. And, and when you've got a ton of frameworks built for you, you're going to win. And when um, Node comes out and becomes one of the biggest things server side, you're going to win. And that's why JavaScript won. The number one most popular programming language on GitHub in 2019 is JavaScript to probably the surprise of nobody. So here we are. And here we are. Basically, here is where all of that data was pulled from. Um, you can see their descriptor. If you click on here, this is the logic used. Top 10 primary languages over time ranked by number of unique contributors to public and private repositories tagged with the appropriate primary language. So that is why Shell somehow made this list and probably shouldn't have. So there is where the state of the Octaverse comes. So we've got JavaScript number one, Python, Java, PHP, C Sharp, C++, TypeScript, Shell, C, and Ruby. It's shocking to see that a couple people aren't on that list. Um, there's no uh, Rust on there. There's no Dart on there. And if we bumped out Shell, which really doesn't belong in here, the next one or the number one in the fastest growing languages would be here in number 10. And the fastest growing language is Dart. So there you go. Dart would have just made the list if we took Shell out. So number 10 would be Dart. And the big reason why Dart is doing so well is Flutter. Uh, the UI framework out from Google took off like wildfire. A lot of people using Dart as a result. And Rust just misses the list. And then a couple other interesting ones here is Kotlin. And then the, weirdly enough, we've got PowerShell here and then Shell here, which sometimes includes PowerShell. So Shell is a crap category and shouldn't be on there. And then we saw the language that dropped off the list, thank goodness, is the horrible, awful Objective-C. Um, it's mostly been replaced by Swift, but interestingly enough, Swift did not make the popular list. So I, I just, I don't know what people are doing in the Apple ecosystem. Are they all using C++ or C Sharp or they using game engines and tools, high level tools? Because nobody's using Objective-C and nobody is using Swift, at least in the top 10 lists. So we got some interesting languages that didn't quite make it. It's amazing to see though, of all the languages that made this list, once again, and I was shocked at its number two spot from the number four spot previously, is the rise of Python. Python is 151% more popular. And interestingly, assembly is 149% more popular than last year. And so that is the um, GitHub list. Now there is a survey, as I mentioned, at the very beginning of this uh, that Stack Overflow does every year. Now this one is user contributed, but here you can see how their top 10 list came out. And this one is professional developers, the all respondents, you get it skews pretty badly here. And they did it again. They put all the shell scripts together. Again, I don't think that that really qualifies as a category, but I also wouldn't put HTML, CSS on the list. So uh, we'll skip those. We've got JavaScript. I wouldn't put SQL as a programming language either. Python, Java, C Sharp, PHP, C++, C, Ruby. Uh, and then we're getting into Go and Swift and Kotlin. So their, their list, JavaScript is number one on both. Python is number two on both when you take away the, the not really programming language. Java is number three on both. C Sharp is number four. On, oh no, PHP is number four and then C Sharp. So the lists are actually incredibly consistent. So you can actually take this one to the bank in terms of what the most popular programming languages are. Now the interesting thing is the rising languages on here uh, were much different, or they, they worded it differently. They said most loved, most dreaded, most wanted. So we go to the wanted. This is language people want to work with. And I can't believe you've got so many people saying JavaScript, but here you can see a pretty consistent set again. So we got Python, JavaScript, Go, TypeScript, Kotlin, Rust, C++, uh, Java, C Sharp, and then you know Swift is making a list. And then what you're seeing is no Ruby. See it'll here. Ruby did not. Let me go back up here to their list. Where did Ruby end up on this actual list? There you go. So one, two, three, four, and no, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so it actually is ninth on that one. So it might be a small bit of an outlier that there are very few Ruby projects on GitHub, or eh, I don't know, actually it's nine and nine. No, they're, they're remarkably consistent. Okay, no, I've got no comments here. They're, they're, these 
between these two profiles, it, it does seem, and I kind of hate to say it, but the most popular programming language in 2019 is JavaScript. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of sad right now. Let me know what you think, what you think of the languages on this list. If there's something here that you would have really thought that should be on here, or do you find there's any standouts or surprises about where they came in the rankings? I think the one that I find a little shocking on the whole is where C Sharp placed and how PHP continues. PHP has only dropped one spot, and I, I can't believe it's not plummeting like a rock. Uh, I would have thought C Sharp would have maybe been number three. Java still holds around. I'm actually a little surprised by that as well. JavaScript's no surprise at all, but I would love to hear what you think in terms of the results here, where your opinions are, any real surprises there for you. Uh, my state of surprise is the popularity of Python, but it does make sense. All right, that's it. So that is the 10 most popular programming languages from two sources, both backed by data in 2019. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.